Hi Sayers, this is Simon and welcome to Simon Says PH. I know you are new to my channel. Just continue watching this video and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll get updated to my future upload. I'm pretty sure that you are already familiar with our topic for today. So let's just jump into it. Hello everyone. Today we'll be talking about the correct usage of there, there, and there. Yes, you heard it right. I just pronounced these three different words in the same way. Before we jump into our main topic for today, we'll be having a pronunciation drill of these three different words. And we will be calling it me time. Me time refers to the time that I will give to you to answer my questions and to practice the activities that I will assign to you later on as well. Okay, for your first me time, the instruction here is pronounce the words there, spelled as T-H-E-R-E, -E, there. T H E I R and there, T H E Y apostrophe R E. It's your turn. Your timer starts now. We have five seconds. Do it now. Nice one. You were able to pronounce these three different words correctly. Keep it up. Now, let's have the first word there spelled as T H E R E. You know, this can be used in different ways. First is as an adverb. Now, as an adverb, it is the opposite of the word here, which literally means at that place. And for us to deeply understand this word, we will use it in a sentence. First sentence, we have here, the money is there for you to spend. There here serves as an adverb. Another example, I'll stop there to answer the queries of my students. Here, in this example, it also serves as an adverb. Another function of there is as a pronoun. It is often used as a pronoun, meaning its role is usually to introduce a word or a clause. For example, there are things that we can't really accept. This one, the word there, is no longer serving as an adverb. It now serves as a pronoun. Okay, that has been our first word, there, spelled as T-H-E-R-E. -E. We will be having another me time. This time, you will compose your own example, your own sentences, okay? This time, I will give you 10 seconds. Your timer starts now. Let me hear your sentence now. Good. That's a good one. Huh? Keep constructing meaningful sentences. Okay. I'm pretty sure that you're ready for the next word. The next word is there, spelled as... T-H-E-I-R, which means the third person plural possessive pronoun. Possessive. What does it mean? It may refer to the expression of showing ownership or relationship. I have your table to fully understand and to fully understand what it means and for me to explain it to you. Now, we have here the table with the counterparts of every pronoun. I, possessive counterpart or possessive form. My, you, your, we, our, he, his, she, her, it, its, they, their. With that, we will have example sentences. First one will show ownership. The students performed their experiments in the laboratory. The word there 
shows ownership, meaning the experiments are owned or possessed by the students. Huh? Okay. As I mentioned earlier, the word possessive or the possessive pronoun concept expresses or shows ownership or relationship. We have here another sentence. Bosses should be approachable to their employees. This one shows relationship because obviously bosses do not own their employees. The word there, there, it only shows relationship between the bosses and the employees. Okay, that has been our second word there, spelled as T H E I R. We will be having another me time. Compose your own sentence. I will be giving you 10 seconds to do that. Your timer starts now. Time's up. Let me hear your sentence. Okay, good. You keep creating your own sentence, composing your own sentence. That's a great one. And we'll be having the last word. Ready? Sure. Okay, now let's have the third word. There, spelled as T-H-E-Y apostrophe R-E. What does it mean? It's a contraction of they are or they were. So it depends on the tense of the sentence. It could be there plus noun or adjective, and it is used as a linking verb. For example, they're singers, they're exhausted. Now, they're singers, singers there is a noun. So what I mean there is they are singers. But when we read this sentence, we usually say they're they're singers. So the other sentence there is, they're exhausted. When I said exhausted, we are using there as a linking verb. So what I mean there is, they are exhausted. Now, how about if the word there is followed by the ing form of the verb and is used as a helping verb. So this is the sentence or the example there. They're having fun outside. So this one has a different function. It serves as a helping verb, the ing form of the verb. So that is how you use the word there, the contracted word or contracted version of they are or they were. So there you go. That's, that has been our last word. Be ready for the me time. Compose your own sentence. I will be giving you another 10 seconds for this activity. Okay. Let me hear your sentence now. Okay. So you have there three sentences already. Those sentences will help you understand the uses or the functions of each word easier. Later on, we will be having an activity which you can use also those sentences as a reference. Okay. Let's have a recap first before you answer that activity. Okay. The words here, there, there, there. The first word is spelled as T-H-E-R-E, -E, meaning at that place. Then there, T-H-E-I-R, meaning possessive form of they. Then the last word is there, spelled as T-H-E-Y, apostrophe R-E, meaning contraction of they are. I am pretty sure that you are ready to take the, the activity or the quiz itself. Okay. This will be the general me time. The instructions complete the following sentences by filling in the correct answers. I have here the choices, there, there, and there. And I have here five sentences. You may pause or stop the video to answer 
the following sentences. You do it now. And here's the answer. Please don't forget to comment down below regarding the score that you got in answering this activity. That has been what Simon would like to say. How about you? I would like to hear what you want to say. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment down below for content, suggestion, or for possible shout out. This has been Simon for Simon Says PH. See you in my next vlog. Thank you and let's call it today. Bye-bye.